One, two, three, go. Cling, 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 cling. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We should call this Cooking for True Crime because yet another one of my true crime videos has been demonetized. So anyway, today we're going to be making macadamia nut pancakes and a special syrup for it. And our family fell in love with this recipe when we went to Maui. There's a place called the Gazebo Restaurant. It's inside some condominiums. It's in a, a little place by the water and it's gorgeous and they have the best breakfasts on Maui, the Gazebo Restaurant. So today we're gonna to be trying to make these macadamia nut pancakes. And mom has not even made these before, have you mom? No. Okay, and so it involves having special things in the pancake batter, it involves having a special syrup, and if you're really getting high class, you even put a spe make a special whipped cream, which I don't think we're doing, right? But we mm -hmm. are doing, okay. So let's get started. So first we're gonna start with the syrup, and this is coconut cream halpia. It's got one cup of coconut milk canned. We're using this. One tablespoon of cornstarch. We're using Argo cornstarch. A quarter cup of sugar. And a half cup of water. It's in here already. And a dash of coconut extract. We'll have to decide what a dash is, but first let's go ahead and so let's start with a one tablespoon of cornstarch. And mom said be really careful about leveling it off. Not so. No, get some more off. Put your finger across it. A little bit more. Get that, yeah. And you put and that now, in the- Now, is it in the frame? Yeah, you okay. put that in the water. All right. And then take the um, uh, all right. whisk and Stir it until it dissolves. Don't go real fast or it'll slough out. You know when you say dissolve, is it going to turn white? No, it'll just, you can look, pick it up and look at the bottom of your cup and see if it looks like there's anything. Okay, that's good then. So you need to open your can of coconut. First of all, coconuts, like a lot of things, it settles, so you need to shake it good. Okay. Okay. And by the way, this isn't my favorite one. Guys, I have one from the 70s that is my favorite. Can we get it and show the people? I don't know why you don't use my favorite one. It's not there. Where have you put it? It's in there. I need my thing. It is not in here. Mom, who it is? All right, guys, this this is my favorite. Do you see this old boot like thing? Okay. Do I go like that? Like, yes. I'm never in this. And then turn it around to the opposite and just do a little bit. You have to have two holes. There just you a go. Bit? Okay. So that it'll pour. Now take your measuring cup. Cup, all right. And and we pour said this is going to be one cup. Take your sugar and measure a fourth cup of sugar. All right, a fourth cup of sugar. See if I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay. Do I have to like measure this all? Yes, yeah, slow. That's okay. There. Your... Okay, so now we're going to go over to the stove and you're going to take... Do I put these things together? Not yet. I take all three individual I items. I tell you what, just pick up the uh, saucepan that's on the stove. And bring it over. Set it down, but don't put it in the sugar. Oh, right, okay. Because it'll, it'll burn. Get... All right. Yeah. All right. Now put your water in, um, yeah. Put it in? Well, before you do that, give it another stir with the whisk. Make sure that it, you don't have a lot of sediment on the bottom. Okay, no sediment. Okay, and then you pour it in there. All right. See, you've still got a little sediment in the bottom. That's okay. Okay. Now, move that pot over 
away from the edge so it doesn't. What pot? This pot? <laughs> yes. There. Mom, it's fine. And now pour your milk in. And pour your sugar in. Okay. All right. And there should be a little teeny spoon that says dash. And you're going this? to, t yeah. Okay. That's what you're going to. Extract? Yeah. And it says dash. Now, what does dash mean? <laughs> it's just a little bit. It's less than a quarter of a teaspoon. This didn't want too much of it in there. Okay. That's okay. good. All right. Now what? Okay. Now we'll go over to the stove. And you'll put Let's that go. on the eye. All right. Let me go over here. Okay. You go. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to turn the oven on to seven and do what? That's not the oven. It's the eye. We're going to turn the eye on to seven, and now we're going to do what? You're going to start stirring that mixture. And you're going to stir it until it thickens. All right, and is this part where You don't we... have to go real fast until it starts Is this the part up? where we... Like speed it up because people don't want to watch it. How yeah. long does it take to usually thicken? I don't know. You see the little bubbles that are starting along the side? Yes. Okay. Then it's if, once it starts to boil, it will thicken up real quickly. Yeah. So you just have to keep watching it. Do people get carpal tunnel from doing this for hours and hours and hours? You know what I'm saying? Like, do, is that a cook's injury? I mean, I don't know. Watch how the real person does it. Taste it. Don't put your, don't put that back in there. Keep your finger on that. This is how it's really done. Yep. See, it's, we added more coconut extract to it just to give it more, more of a flavor. Didn't really have much to it. Okay, so that's the consistency one is opting for. One is two. Okay. So mom says it's now thick enough. So let's go ahead and pour it. Let me get, just use this. Oof, that's kind of hot. Oh shit, it's hot. Okay. Next time, if you have a second thought about whether... Oh, mom. In my desk, it was hot. Their greatest battles will be with themselves. Correct. All right, all right. So, it got a little hot. It spilled a little bit. We had to clean it up, so... Now we have our sauce. All right, so we've taken the sauce off and we're gonna leave that to cool maybe 45 minutes whenever, till whenever it's cool. And now we're gonna start on the pancakes. I'm gonna be instructed by my mother. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is to melt three tablespoons of butter. See the little butter melter that's there? Yes. Oh, oh okay. Take three tablespoons out of that and put it in the melter. Yeah. Okay. okay, and go over to the stove and set that on low on one of those back burners. Okay, then the next thing we need to do is to chop the nuts that are going to go in there. How many nuts do I select? It says, let's see what the It doesn't rest. say. Okay. Because that is my waffle recipe, or my pancake recipe, and we're going to alter it by putting in macadamia nuts. Okay, so how many? Well, you're going to chop them up. I would say probably half a cup. You chop them up and then you put them in the measuring cup to see how much. Because once you chop them... So this is a half a cup. Unchopped. Unchopped. So more chopped to oh, make. Okay. Okay. Right. How do we chop a macadamia nut? <laughs> do you chop them one at a time? Do you chop them in group? What do you do? 
You chop them probably one at a time would be the easiest With way. With this? Yep. Oh Lord. Okay, so teach me so I don't hurt myself. All right, so mom said to chop these individually. So now this is where it gets kind of exciting. And you said they're going in a pancake, so you want them chopped kind of, would you call it a fine chop? How would you define the chopping? Well, think about eating them. And yeah. what size would you want to find in your pancake? Now, how do you keep the nuts from like escaping the chop? You hold them. Do you ever just chop in mass like this and just then later break them in? Instead yeah, you of, can. She did it like this, guys. She went like this and she went. And then she turned around and, and chopped each little one, you know? I mean, yeah, it is more effective that way, definitely. <laughs> follow, my, follow my rules! No, it's just what you want to do. What you want to end up with. I'm just yeah. a, a very impatient person. And I'm guessing that cooking is not a an impatient person's hobby. You know? Yeah, Aaron's laughing now too. Everybody's laughing. It's all fun and games until somebody loses a finger, right? <laughs> You need to check on your butter. Okay, so I'm going to stop, drop, and check on my butter. And what am I going to stir it with? A spoon? You're not going to stir it. You're just going to open that lid and see if it's melted yet. No. It's not even... Look at it. It's just like... You have the like wrong eye on. That's why. Alright. Well, that didn't get done. Well, it doesn't need to be done yet. So. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. kind of love it. The ignorance Wait a on parade. Okay. She says, keep your hand on top. And then of course you get to this stage first. Move, get them to the size you want and move them out the way. Move out the way, she said. Okay, now I need to do this, otherwise I'm never gonna learn. Hand on tippity top. I don't know why I started saying tippity top. Okay. It's not. I, now I told you to hold the point down and not lift it up. Just the I blade. missed that bit. You hold. Wrist act. Take your thumb off of there. <laughs> hold Jesus! It, hold it down like this, and then you just move the knife. Like back and forth? Yeah. Like that. This is not right. Ugh. Yeah, but this needs chopping. This needs chippity chop. You know? This is not ready just to be smooth operator. You know, smooth operator. Smooth operator. Smooth. This is like gonna be cringe for cooks to watch. No cook's gonna watch this, so. Okay, now you're going to put together your dry ingredients. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is to get one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So this is one cup, and, there's and a this half, is... There's a half a cup there as well. And here is all-purpose flour. Yep. And you'll need to get a big spoon out of the drawer too. Why? Because. you Don't, no, don't do that. Big spoon. Their greatest battles will be with themselves. Correct. All right, let's try this again. One and a half cups. So now we're gonna. So now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. And she said to take one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Okay. 
kind of shake it off. What do you mean? Now it's, you said to, oh, daddy, I don't know what I'm Okay, we're adding. Uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay, so three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, baking powder. Argo baking powder. No. I'll show you a trick with baking powder. The lid opens up, flips open. Okay, if you'll put your spoon in down in there and get a good spoonful, you can rake it off the top as it comes out and it gets level. Yeah. One Did you more. say two? Okay. There you go. Two teaspoons of baking. So we've got the salt, baking powder, and two tablespoons of sugar. So two tablespoons of sugar. Does this need that sort of measuring to it too? Yeah. Like, no, you just, you can, with sugar, you can just kind of... So certain dry ingredients need that precision and some don't? No. Oh, they all do. Okay. That's not right. Okay, now take that whisk that the red, with the red um, silicone things. Yeah. And mix it up. Alrighty. So do you mix it just to mix these ingredients together, not to... Yep, that's it. That's good enough. Okay. Now you're going to put your wet ingredients together, so you need to break two eggs into your bowl. Into this bowl? Mm-hmm. And there's no um, shells. So now I'm going to measure out the milk. One cup of milk. One cup of milk, okay. <sighs> this is one of those days, isn't it? There we go. One cup of milk. Okay. Don't yeah, put the milk away. Uh -huh. Right? Alrighty. And a teaspoon of vanilla. You pour the milk into the eggs. Okay. Then you add a teaspoon of vanilla to it. One teaspoon of vanilla. Oh, wow. Okay. Over the... Oh, yeah. You, know, you said like last time, like it overspilled, and so. Oh, well, that's a, add a little Does bit it, more. My hands are shaking like crazy. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Yep. All right. Now you're gonna take that over to the mixer. Oh, we're taking it to the mixer. Okay. And you're going to. Oh, here we go. All right. the The thing I like to do with the mixer is to put a. Um, towel underneath it so it doesn't. Because the counter's right. slick and it'll just spin on you. All right. Helps. Okay. Now, to t you don't, you have to have the mixer down in the thing when you turn it on. I know, on. but I need to know how to turn it on before okay. I. Okay. And do I turn it on once it's in there? Yeah. I'll turn okay. It on. Oh, okay. Oh, this isn't that bad. Do I try to get like those yolks under my? Yep. Wow, they're like, gosh, they're dodging around. Look. Yep. Do they do that? Yeah. Dude. Now look at your clock. It's like a game. Look at your clock. Uh, 1.59. You're going to do this for three minutes now, don't? Okay, so. Okay. Okay, so I think we're at 2.02. All right, it's 2.02, we've stopped the mixer, and now we're going to take the magnets? No, 
I need the spatula. I need this no. one. Nah. Yeah, that green one will do. Okay. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to take the dry ingredients. Yep. The dry ingredients. The flour. <clears throat> and you're going to put it in. Just, no, don't. Just take both hands, hold the bowl, and put it in your... Just kind of put it in there. There you go. Now, gently mix the dry the flour with the egg mix no no not the with the spatula and you need to fold it okay. folding is I'll show you here to fold you take it and you fold it over like this you roll it you don't mix it you don't You've spent all that time getting the egg mixture fluffy, and you don't want to deflate it now with the flour. So, so show me roll. You do it just. You're just lifting it up and bringing it over. Okay. Until right. you get all the flour mixed in. Lifting it up, bring it over. Lifting it up, bring it over. Lifting it up, bring it over. And you scrape over the sides as you go. The nuts, but don't put all of those nuts in there. That's really too many. So save. Yeah, I think that's probably. Yeah, that's plenty. Now take your spatula and spatula and mix it in. Mix the nuts. Like foldy style. Yeah. It's gonna be nuttier than a squirrel turd. Okay, that's good. Is it good? Yeah. All right. Now. All you have, oh, now, I'm sorry, we got the butter, we, we haven't put the butter in. Okay. Yet. Put the butter in, mix it with the spatula. It has to rest for at least 15 minutes. Okay, so do we put anything on it? No. Okay. Okay, so mom said to go ahead and put the pancake batter in the pancake batter cup and do I take the excess with the spatula and try to finesse it into the cup no just no just put the, I mean you're just gonna make a couple right now so right okay gotcha yeah cuz see the thing is is mom was cooking cooking something else when this project started so yeah that's why things are extra chaotic oh we got a little going down the side is that bad you're not ready mouth. to put that in there yet. Okay. <clears throat> you have to wait till it heats up, and that's not a good way to do it. Okay, so we've got our batter in the pancake thing mm -hmm. container, and then we're waiting for this to heat up, and we're going to put some... Grape seed oil. Grape seed oil as the conduit. You're eating raw eggs, you know. That's why I asked you if it was okay. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> if that's what kills me in time of COVID, I guess that is what kills me. Put it on the video. So you said once it starts to get hot to put... Pick up the cup so you don't drip it all the over cup the place. And just kind of put it where the pancakes are going to go? Yeah. Now, I don't know. How big are... Do you put in pancakes and they expand? Or yeah, do you go you ahead and... put them real close together. So, so like this? Is yeah, that good? Yeah, that's good enough. Don't put a whole lot. Okay, that's it? Mm -hmm. That's a solace? Okay. Okay, so you pick up your pancake. Now, is this the pulley thing right here? You pull. Put it over. Guys, this isn't necessary. This is just something we have. Okay. Put this over the spot where you want your pancake to go. And that's good. Pull okay. The... I think uh oh. It, yeah. I'll make this one a smaller one. It's not. I don't know. Uh, let's wait a minute. Usually start What with if they one. touch each other? Should I. No, just don't put it in there yet. I want to see what they're doing. They're that, laying there. That batter is very loose. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I just do this one? No. No. Okay. This is where we fix the problem. Mom has declared the pancakes are quote unquote too loose. And too loose is not too loose low trek. It's too loose as in pancake wrong, pancake bad. So she's adding flour, you said? Yep. Flour to fix the problemo of me not properly measuring. 
See, folks, this is the reason why you measure your stuff. So what happens to these sad two little pancakes? Are they the rejects? I mean, they might be just be delicious. They'll just be... Yeah. The sad little reject, mom flipped the one, and it actually looks good for all the Sturm and Drang. You know, it looks good. And I know they tasted good for what it's worth. I mean, you could say they didn't have enough flour or whatever, but to me, like, the batter tasted good. Mom says when they're brown on the bottom, okay, so just I a little blown this. out lightwise. But when they're brown on the bottom, they're done. She says they're done. So now we're going to try with mom's putting more flour. Let's just put two. She's just going to put two in here because we actually have lunch that was going to be fixed. So, I mean, it's like, oh, my Lord. Okay. Wow. So she's using one. Still kind of got a spread to it. Okay, two. All right. Yeah, it's still not thick enough. She says think. it's not thick enough, but you know what? Honestly, that looks like a good pancake. So I, like I think that. we're going to be okay. I really do. I think we're going to be okay. Okay, so we thickened up the pancakes just a smidge. And now we're watching them on the stove. And Mom says when they start to bubble, you can flip them. But I don't trust that this is enough no, bubbling. No, it's not. It, they start to look drier on top. I'll okay. show you when okay. the time is. Those ones actually look good. Mm -hmm. They look good. Do you yeah. wait so they're all pocked? No, you're fine. You can I can flip kinda, this one? Well, kind of lift it up and look. Lift it and look. Oh, yeah. It's ready. Okay. See? That's mm -hmm. ready. That looks good. Okay. I see, I like a brown like that. Ooh, yeah, that looks good to me. See, those are not, I mean, they look good, but this is well, the this kind of brown I like. Real thin and I like a brown like that. Okay. So now, how are you innately going to know when the other side's ready? Just by just lifting it look. up? You just okay, leave look. 30 seconds or so and then kind of check it if it's starting to get brown on the bottom and you like the looks of it. Then you it's can... so funny looking at this, you can't tell there are nuts in it. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? It's not like it's got like nuts. You know what I mean? Okay, it's starting to... Okay, so flip it, or... Well, look. All right, Mom. Whoop! It looks like an egg on that one. Ah, I need some more time. Let's get it. Don't, uh, don't, don't push don't. on them. I'm no. not pushing. Am I pushing? Don't push. Okay, maybe. I mean, are they supposed to look exactly the same no, on both sides? No, they okay. won't. That's fine. See, boop! That looks fine. And that one looks fine. All right, so now we're looking at the dress of the pancake. And we've got here, this is the syrup that we made. And this is just some whipped cream we had. Because we always, you know, got some kind of dessert going. So, here, I'm going to give this to Mom. And I'm going to dress my two. I like, do you mind if I take the dark ones? Mm -mm. Okay, because I really, in actually, they're probably the better ones. So I am actually not a huge coconut fan until I got I went to Hawaii and realized how tasty they are. I'm just kind of boop, I guess for. Oh gosh, <laughs> that looks good, huh? And you want some nuts on it? Oh yeah, sure, just a little. And I used to not like nuts either, but I got older and decided, hey, I like them. What? And would you like to dress yours? You go ahead and eat yours, and I'll. Oh, you mean like take a bite? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take a bite just to taste test. Now, the ones I really like in Maui are macadamia nut white chocolate, which we didn't do, but, you know, those are the bomb. Boom. They're good. They're good. Are they as good as the the um the gazebo? No, they don't have the white chocolate in them. And we could probably even put more coconut in the syrup too. But are they good? I put a little too much whipped cream on it. I guess I went a little crazy here. I'm gonna eat mine, guys, and I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, my YouTube channel that does true crime is just getting demonetized left, right, and backwards just because hey, you know what? True crime is just so, so sensitive. So anyway, we're going to cook a little bit. And I want to say thank you and have an excellent day. Bye.